for being here for my March Madness. So this whole month I'm going just plant foods, all whole plant foods. My girlfriend Mariah, who has Casa Verde Farms here in Hood River, stopped by with these two huge, big, beautiful bags of arugula. I'm going to make an arugula pesto and show you um, how to convert regular pesto to a vegan pesto. We're going to put the pesto over asparagus with a poached egg and it's going to be our lunch. I am going to use um, quite a bit of oil in this arugula pesto, but we're just going to use a tiny bit of it at a time to season our dishes. So thanks for being here. Let's get started. We're going to use a vegan Parmesan cheese instead of regular Parmesan cheese. Feel free to use either one. What this is, is it's a combination of raw almonds, nutritional yeast, toasted sesame seeds, and garlic powder. And there's a little bit of salt and it is remarkably good. I use it when I'm cooking for vegans or if I'm just laying off the cheese for a while. The zest um, of a partial lemon, some pine nuts, garlic, olive oil, salt, and fresh arugula. All of this is just gonna go in the bowl of our food processor. We're gonna blitz it a few times and that's it, super simple. This is a perfect recipe for people that are afraid to trust their intuition. Whoa, someone's getting away. Because it forces you to. And I'm gonna do a handful of pine nuts. I like my pesto garlicky. So I'm going to do three cloves. So in with the garlic and I'm just going to zest maybe a quarter of this. I don't put lemon zest in my basil pesto because it doesn't need it. There's a brightness to it. There's something with arugula that is really lovely with lemon. So add a little of that. And then the vegan Parmesan cheese, I'm gonna say maybe a quarter cup. This has salt in it, so I'm not gonna to go too crazy on the salt, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. And olive oil. Now this is the point where most people mess up their pesto. They don't wanna put enough oil in it, so if this is horrifying you watching me dump like a cup of oil in my blender, pesto might not be a food for you because it really truly is flavored oil. Put these guys in. We're just going to pulse this um, maybe a minute tops and that's it. That is how simple pesto is. If you are using, using Parmesan cheese, all you have to do is grate a little bit of cheese. So that's the only difference. It just takes minutes. Okay, now this looks perfect. So what we're looking for is a really um, runny texture. You shouldn't have anything on the sides of the bowl that actually crawl up the sides of the bowl, the paste. You want enough oil that everything settles out. So when you stir it, it's all smooth and it's just a really nice pourable consistency. So just check it for salt. Pesto is a seasoning. So if you think about it as such, salt it accordingly because you, you don't have to use salt in recipes that have been seasoned right. Perfect. It's salty. There's a pronounced garlic taste, but it's not so hot. It's just burning your mouth. There's a greenness. There's this vibrancy of lemon. There's a little bit of cheesiness from the nutritional yeast, and it's really delicious. There are a lot of ways we can deal with asparagus. So the bottom 
of the stems tend to get a little bit woody. And so you can take a potato peeler and just peel them. And that solves the problem because it's actually the skin that gets really tough. Um, you can just line them up and chop the bottoms off. But my favorite way ensures that you get all the woodiness off without sacrificing any of the um, edible parts. So the, the actual asparagus will tell you where it wants to be cut. You hold the end and it breaks exactly where the woody part it ends and the edible part begins. So the little ends that you snap off can be added to your, um, your veggie stock bag in the freezer. So I start really low and I just keep bending until it breaks. So my egg and my asparagus are both going to take two and a half minutes to cook. So this is a super quick, easy, fast, yummy and delicious lunch. vinegar in your poaching liquid if you'd like. I don't. It doesn't seem to really matter. I do get a little vortex going just to drop the eggs in. It just kind of helps keep them all together. You want to set your timer to two and a half minutes for an over easy poached egg that's solid white and runny yolk. the first taste of spring, a delicious asparagus and arugula salad with a poached egg. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Mm -hmm.